it's my pleasure now to please um, make our principals tonight very welcome to the stage. Students' services and the school grounds will occur. 
Many of these new facilities will also be community facilities and we will work hard to open up the school for other users beyond the normal school day. Secondly, a new name for our school has been proposed that will further guide the future direction of our school and community. I'm pleased to announce that the new proposed name for our school is Playford International College. This is indeed an exciting name that has been chosen for very important reasons. The name Playford recognises the influence of Sir Thomas Playford that Sir Thomas Playford had on the creation of Elizabeth as the state's first satellite city. Sir Thomas Playford is the state's longest serving Premier, having served as Premier for 27 years from 1938 through to 1965. He is regarded as a visionary of change and our local council, the Playford City Council, also bears his name. The term international recognises almost 150 students from 26 different nationality, nationalities that currently study at our school. We are truly a multicultural school and we are intent on further developing our international education charter in support of population growth in Northern Adelaide and the government's target to attract more international students to our state. Finally, the term college defines a place where higher and more specialised learning takes place. We are intent on becoming, becoming a global leader for 21st century teaching and learning. Over time, we will offer much more than a traditional high school and we will truly become a community hub for promoting and supporting lifelong learning. In addition, our current school colours of navy, maroon and white will remain as a symbol of our past. However, the black of the Indigenous flag will also be formally added to our school colours to further recognise the importance and influence of our Indigenous students within our school. Next term, US students will be invited to design our new school logo that will capture our past but guide our future. Thirdly, a new school curriculum will be introduced for all students from the start of 2016. This curriculum will model world's best practice around 21st century teaching and learning theory. A new curriculum is being developed to provide new opportunities for our students. The structure of the school day will change as we move from traditional lessons to learning blocks. Standalone subjects will be replaced by more integrated learning in which the application of skills and knowledge will become central to student learning. Students in middle school will, school will study in differentiated learning groups. These will contrast the traditional year-level based management of student learning that is the hallmark of how we currently organise education. Project and inquiry based learning, critical and creative thinking, problem solving and the application of higher order thinking skills of synthesis, analysis and evaluation will be embedded across all learning areas. The development of writing as a fundamental, as a foundational ability will, will assume the dominant focus of the school's literacy strategy. A new specialised academic pathways program will be introduced that will give our most talented students greater access to specialised learning in music, language, performing arts, advanced technology and sport. Our students will also participate in a new electives program designed to match their skills, interests and future aspirations within personal areas of study. We hope to build new partnerships with our local schools and develop new opportunities for collaborative learning. By, support, by supporting the learning of primary age students in creative and specialist ways, we have the opportunity to strengthen transition programs and develop a shared approach to improving learning outcomes for all students. As a school that seeks to restructure curriculum around 21st century teaching and learning theories, we will place a heavy emphasis on e-learning and e-teaching and positive education. Our world continues to change at a rapid rate and the classrooms of the 21st century have changed significantly from those of a previous generation. Knowledge and information are no longer the protected bastion of the teacher and as a profession we must move into the new 24-7 learning space. Schools must change from simply being places that operate between 8.30 and 3.30 for 41 weeks of the year to become more relevant for those students who try to manage complex and busy lives. E-learning is already changing the way that many students study. Traditional daily attendance at school or in a classroom is becoming less critical for many students and teachers. 
and, and for many teachers and students who are embracing the benefits and advantage of the digital world. Health ed mental health continues to emerge as the world's number one health crisis for the 21st century. Already, 20% of Australians are diagnosed as having some level of mental health disorder. We are introducing positive education as a foundational platform for all teaching and learning within the school. This initiative links closely with the state strategic plan and, and we are partnering with Northern Connections and many other local schools to help our students develop the skills to flourish. Fifthly, our, transition to our transformational plan seeks to build the capability and capacity of our workforce. We have already begun restructuring our leadership and support staff to significantly improve support for students. Attendance, engagement, well-being, learning support, career and transition management are all examples of the new support structures that have been introduced this year. Beginning next year, we also plan to introduce an action research and accreditation based format to the professional development of our staff. Sustained and continual improvement only occurs through consistency of practice. Success needs to be replicated and not simply left to chance or the skills of the master or lead teacher. Our professional development strategy will ensure that every staff member develops consistent skills, a common approach to learning and task design, assessment and moderation, and the use of data and evidence to improve practice. A whole school coach and mentoring program will replace the traditional once a year performance management evaluation process for staff. Rather, all leaders will be resourced to work in classrooms alongside teachers and students to ensure that learning engagement and achievement are at the forefront of our work as educators. Lastly, the sixth element of our transformational plan is focused on developing effective networks and partnerships throughout our community. We cannot do this work alone, and as a school, we are surrounded by a rich and diverse community that we need to tap into in order to improve educational opportunities and transitional pathways for our students. This work has already begun. This year, a new partnership with the Playford City Council and Beacon Foundation has been established. We are working closer with our apprenticeship brokers and the educational leaders of NASA. Our Governing Council has changed to become a school board this year and from next year it will include a number of representatives from our business, community, industry and government. These community leaders will work alongside our parents and staff to build opportunities for our students. The message to our community is that the new Playford International College is now open for business. In closing, our transformational plan aims to build a new and exciting future for our students, staff and the community. At the risk of over-promising and under-delivering, this plan ensures that we are all accountable for the future direction and success of the school. As students here today, the message that you should take from this assembly is that others care about you. You are surrounded by staff, parents, educational leaders, members of the school board and local government, community leaders, politicians, and media representatives. Everyone has your success and your future as their number one priority. However, as students, as the Minister said, you need to make a commitment to becoming a better learner. You've been given a lot today, but life isn't just about a handout and simply taking what you can get. We all have to help ourselves, and as citizens, we have to help each other and make a contribution. Your contribution is to bring your A-grade gain to your learning. Your regular attendance, respectful relationships with others, a strong work ethic, an aspirational attitude, and a success and achievement focus is the commitment expected of you. To coin a, a sporting phrase, when it's your time to go, you simply have to go. We have an ex exciting future ahead. Let's all begin the hard work now to make it happen. Thank you.